is a wonderful time to be in, a wonderful time to be alive. If you are a child of God, I want you to thank God for your life. Even if you were not a child of God, thank God for your life. He has given you life. But you are a child of God, no matter what is happening in your situation, thank God for your life. No matter how many people have passed you by, thank God for your life. I keep talking about this thing of we being different. I am going to emphasize it again today. You are different, completely different. And the part of your life is filled with goodness according to your life. Don't look at goodness in the context of other people's lives. Don't look at what you want in the context of another person. The scripture condemns those who compare themselves to others. Compare yourself to the standard that God has given to you. But let's read the scriptures. We are going to read Genesis chapter 25, first of all, verse 17. Genesis 25, 17. These were the years of the life of Ishmael, 137 years. And he breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people. Ishmael was the first son that Abraham gave birth to by his maid. That his wife, Sarah, had said he could use her to get a child. Since the Sarah herself thought that God had kept her from bearing children. So she gave birth to Ishmael. He lived 137 years and then died. Somebody was 13 years older than Isaac. But let's read the life of Isaac. That would be Genesis 35, verse 28. Genesis 35, verse 28. Now, the days of Isaac were 180 years. 180. From 137, what do you have left? For the three full years extra given to Isaac. Who came first? Ishmael. First son. Isaac came 13 years later, but he lived 43 extra years. What am I saying? That fellow is in front, let him go. Where he stops, you are going to go way beyond that point. That fellow started long before you, you are not late. He will end somewhere and you will overtake him. This is a function of overtaking. This is a function of arriving where you ought to arrive. And this is a function of life, giving you what ought to be given to you and more. Yes, Ishmael came first. Isaac came as the son of promise. Who got there first? Let him go there. You will get there as a different person. You will get there not in the context of how he got there. You will get that thing not the same way he got that thing. Yes, he's the one that bought a car when he was 18 years old. So what? You buy your own at 35? Oh, he bought a little Volkswagen when he was 18 years old. But you bought your own at 35 and you bought a Rolls Royce. Who has done better? What am I saying today? Wait your time. Because that your time is going to produce something for you that the whole world will marvel. Somebody would sit down and say, how did his own thing come out like this? It came out like that because you were waiting for God. And when it was God's time, he brought your own deal. Was Ishmael waiting for God? I don't know, because God had said he would make him a big generation of people. So obviously he was also waiting for God. The issue is not with Ishmael. The issue is with what God is doing for you. What is God doing for you? And somebody will say, I don't know what God is doing for me. You're right. You don't know. And that's why you should wait for him. None of us knows what God is doing for us. But all of us know that we can wait for God. You can do it. I can do it. There is none of us who cannot wait for God if we decide to do it. But we are so much tensed up. We are so worried about how we have been left behind. We are so worried about how our friends have gone. They went to the university. You didn't go. Life does not depend on that, but it's absolutely important to get an education, and a good one at that. But what if the circumstances of life denied you of the education? 
Or because the fellow went to university when he was 18 and you went to university when you are 35, does that in any way give you a disadvantage? That fellow started work at 25 and he has a long time, he would work 35 years before he retires and you start work at 40 and all of what you have is just 25 years and you get so worried about it, why? What is kept for you is different from what is kept for that person. He might have come first, he might have started first, but it will end somewhere. And if God delights in you, it takes you way beyond it. God delighted in Isaac, 180 years old. That's not the same thing that Ishmael got. Yes, did Ishmael get his own share of life? He got. God said he's going to be a father of kings and nations will come out of him. Wonderful. They still did come out of him. But Isaac, very different. Bottom line of what I have said, we have different destinies. Follow your destiny. The one defined by God. Not the one defined by you. Don't look at another person's destiny and use it as a standard for you. It is not. You have one standard. God's definition. And let that definition define your life. My prayer today is that we all wait for God Follow the direction that he has charted for you. And we will find that no one who indeed follows God's direction can fail. You will not fail. This is your day that you should celebrate. Why? Because it is a day that I am coming to you with the guarantee of God that you will not fail. If you have belonged to him and you hold on to him, except you have run away from him. But even if you deviated from him, you can still turn back. God accepts the repentant person. Turn back that your destiny will be restored. And the best of that destiny is yet to come and is going to come to pass in your lifetime, not when you are dead. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Father, for everyone that waits on you. You will renew their lives. You will bring forth the best for them and no destiny will fail. For you know the thoughts you think towards everyone who belongs to you. The thoughts to do them good and not evil. And to bring them to the expected end. That expected end will come to pass. In Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.